Hi, this is Michael Liu for the Finance News Network. Today we're joined by Managing Director of QEM, Gavin Lloyden. Hi Gavin, welcome back to the network. Hi Michael, uh, thanks again for having us and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Great, so first off, QEM is developing a dual vanadium and oil shale project in uh, Jula Creek in uh, northwest Queensland. Could you give us an update on uh, the project? The project is progressing quite, uh, quite well at the moment. We've uh, conducted some recent testing and we'll be making some announcements around that uh, uh, over the next few days, as a matter of fact, and uh, that's going to lead us towards um, uh, finalising the, the, the design of the, the pilot plant. Um, and um, we're just putting the, the final touches to that at the moment and, and looking to then start to uh, order those parts and, and, and start to get that, uh, that project put together. Okay, thanks Gavin. So what's the rationale behind uh, hydrogen production? So hydrogen is an integral part of, 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 of what we're doing at Julia Creek or intend to do at Julia Creek. Um, it's used to hydrogenate the, the raw oil that we produce uh, and bring that up to a, a diesel specification uh, without the, the need for, for total refining. Could you talk us through how hydrogen is produced and what special techniques do you apply to, to production at QEM? Well, hydrogen is produced from uh, water electrolysis uh, and we have plenty of water access uh, where we are in Julia Creek. It may not look like it at surface, but uh, there is water available. Uh, the process doesn't use a great deal of water anyway, but it's basically uh, using water from any source, uh, and it can be wastewater. Uh, that water is then filtered, um, um, electrolyzed, which splits the uh, water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen, and we will be using the oxygen component as well from this electrolyzer. Um, and that's, that's the, the essence of it. It'll be green hydrogen because what we'll be doing is, is using solar and wind as, a, uh, as the form of energy to, to support this project. And let's not forget about the vanadium and oil aspect of the project as well. Um, could you give us an update on that? Vanadium has obviously always been the key um, objective in this project. The vanadium is actually contained within the oil shower unit. So we do have to extract that oil first to get a, a, a good result from the extraction from the vanadium. Uh, and vanadium obviously has a, a wide range of uses, um, you know, redox batteries being one of the, uh, the, the most significant going forward. In terms of news flow, what do you expect to arrive in the coming time? We'll be focusing on the, you know, finalisation and procurement of the, of the pilot plant. Uh, that's going to give us a, a, access to a lot more material to finalise some of the optimisation work that we need to do on the, on the vanadium extraction. We think we've got the oil uh, side of it pretty much covered. We'll have um, some study work coming back from, from DNV Australia who is doing a wind and solar study for us in Julia Creek. Uh, we've got some um, interesting results in, in, in the first instance but we're waiting for the final report. Beyond that, we've got uh, CCAP working with us uh, to help roadmap this pro project going forward so that we'll have uh, very clear and defined uh, milestones along the way and we'll be able to, you know, to disclose those to the market as we're going and hopefully tick those boxes on the way through. Fantastic. Gavin Lloyden, thank you for your insights and we look forward to hearing more updates from you in the future. Thanks, Michael.